Be, your hole's gonna get deeper because you gotta go play Young Give after this. So you can't think about that game right now, but it has to be somewhat in the back of your mind. And then Hollywood's gotta play Drini, who's an amazing player as well. So no room for error in this game. Hunt takes it to the 25 yard line. Second and four. We've seen this from Hollywood. No, Kiv's throwing it all around the yard. That's what Hollywood used to do. Used to do it, and that's, I think, kind of what you think about when you, you look at Hollywood's offense. But, you know, when you really take a look at the numbers, Scott, of him getting into this thing, his third down conversions are at 50%, and that's because he runs the ball on first and second downs. He gets manageable situations, and he's converting at the highest third down percent of the entire event. Blitzes on defense quite a bit too, 64% of the time, which is remarkable. Because taking sacks on first down is killer it, in it, Madden. In this game, Madden 18, with the way zone coverage is, Scott, it's, it's over. I think all those tuning in on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer, and Twitter for this Group B. Game number two for both of these guys. They're 0-1. It's a heck of a group, by the way. Heck of a group. Group B, very, very tough. Hollywood here runs about 47% of the time, so almost half his plays. And Joel we saw on Monday with that rushing attack, but Hollywood at about 70 yards per game, second out of these players here at the Madden Challenge. So expect this ground game, but a nice shed there from Dubby to get a stop in the backfield. He's going to go hurry up. Of course, single elimination starts tomorrow. We've got a lot of work to do still here. Second and 14 from the 38. Those corners are pressing up on the outside. It's got them burnt before, but they look like they're in okay position right now. But keep an eye on that. Well, Joe Hayden is a guy who's tremendous in coverage, but just doesn't have the speed. Not anymore. The Florida Gator, Joe Hayden. See, there you go. You know? Look at you. You know? I brought a smile to my face. Brown Steelers. Pretty really good tough team. with the Browns. Yeah. Big shout out to Mutt Guru out there, Mike McFadden. Suffering through the years. <laughs> Second and 14. Little motion. Golf sets its feet and fires. Pass midfield to the 46. Jarvis Landry underneath. You have to target that area of the field. Skinny post from single back ace. I mean, it's the most basic play in the game, but you just don't find those post routes everywhere. So for Hollywood to go to those, very smart. And then single back ace, he condenses that into the single back deuce close, hits him with a half back wham right up the middle for an easy game. Flipped it too. First Let's and 10, that yeah, that's, that's nice when you hit the, flip the script. What's nice too is you can quickly get out to those plays and you see those routes. You can't get those routes anywhere else. So for him to be able to boom, go back and forth between those formations, it really probably frustrates Dubby. I already mentioned those outside corners, like where they're lining up. And then he's going from, you know, having a condensed formation to having those guys come in. It, it, he moves his guys. Very frustrating little checkers match going on here. Two tight ends here on second and nine. Throws the corner route into coverage. And that's a harmless fall to the turf. That's, that's not, not a good the read. read. That's not the read. But that's okay. Still targeted downfield. Third and nine coming up. He's on the edge of field goal range. Can't take a sack. Got to find a way. Ball at the 33. Here's third and nine. Probably on the edge of field goal range here. He's using a comeback route on the left side of the screen. Not a super commonly used tactic. But he's seen something, but it takes a sack. And that's going to push him out of field goal range. Here comes a fourth and 15. Shockingly, he had that comeback route on the left side of the field wide open. Couldn't get the ball off in time with Dubby sending a cover three. By the way, look uh, at these shoes. I mean, you got the bits. Yeezys and then Dubby looks like he might be going to mow lawns. He looks like he's got the Happy Gilmore shoes on on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, you got Yeezys, which the kids love. They're way out well, he's of my got, price. You know, he's got this military thing going. He's got the, they got the boots on. He's got the camo needed. I'm, I'm just trying to he's make it work. He's got to tie his shoes. If he gets up to, to celebrate, he might fall over. So fourth and 15. 
Just celebrate after that big sack. Come right up the gut. And now it's first and ten for Dubby. They'll get possession on downs. Hollywood, he got caught up in the crossfire. Right up the middle. Tamir Whitehead, two sacks. Look, I said it on third down. He can't take the sack, get out of the range. He does exactly that. Fourth down and 15. I said earlier in the drive, he gets into manageable situations. Fourth 15 is not one of those. Is that song on Great your, stop for Dubby. Your Tender Spaces album. That Crossfire commercial, that's a game I always wanted as a kid. No, you know, no you ever seen that one? That. It was like Hungry Hungry Hippos, but with like some sort of... Lasers and marbles. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. There's a lot of kids that are confused right now, but Google Crossfire, and you can go watch that out on YouTube. And maybe ask They're going to have to Google board games first. Yeah. <laughs> Second and two from the 47. Great statement, defensive drive for uh, Dubby. Recovering, getting the stop. Goes to Chris Thompson. We've seen a lot of Thompson. He's part of that Harvest series that came out around Thanksgiving. Of course, the Harvest guy you want is Barry Sanders, but you're you're not going to find him in this mode because not in many mud traps. Uh, I've looked. It's absolutely ridiculous. Or third and one. Cousins. Ooh, boy, threw that one into traffic dot. across the middle. And he says dot. And then sticks his tongue out. You know, sometimes Madden's easy. Oh, sometimes Madden's hard. That's dirty, a situation dirty, dirty, dirty. where maybe it's not your best throw, not your best read. But Scott, you need it. Yep. Under 30 to go oh. in the first. He wanted that that burst through the hole. He thought Thompson had more space. And Hollywood's actually calling cross fire as well. You know, this Packers playbook that Dubby's in, this was his original playbook when the you know you launched Madden 18. He's not using a lot of the same formations just because you know things have changed as far as uh, you know, zone coverages and et cetera. One of the biggest differences right now in Madden 18, if you log in, is you be able to set your audibles. Uh, this is a very powerful move by Dubby. What he's doing is the clock is going to run out on the quarter without him having to snap the ball. So he comes out in field goal, checks the wind, check no the wind. distance to see when he holds down the left stick if he can make the field goal at an angle. Power move. A lot of players no. don't do that. They don't know their max kicker range. Good, smart play by there. He probably confused Hollywood a little bit, like he's going to kick a field goal on second and six. So all around, Madden guy move from Dubby. He, at the Classic, was saying that he was pulling off second-tier moves, like thinking logically, <laughs> like trying to get, trying to get holding penalties, just flipping the script. And right now he's back at it. That's what happens when you're 30. You just you think of everything. You've been through every situation. Second and six. First quarter flew by. Still no score. And he's just outside the red zone now. Nice find, throwing it out to the boundary. Thielen has had some great upgrades in Ultimate Team with the season he's had, so that's a stud receiver for Dubby. Good Thielen's quarter out. big just today yeah. in general. Wide open. First and 10. Opening drive for Dubby after he stopped Hollywood. Eagles with two Redskins in the backfield. He's going to scramble. Oh, my God. Just had a chance to... to Make the move there all the way. Instead, I don't know. If he's, I don't know. I'm not sure. He's very. <laughs> yeah, lucky I, I he honestly don't know what penalty. to say about that. I don't right. know if it was a throwaway and an overthrow. Yeah. Nevertheless, second and ten. Let's do it again. I would. Yeah. Go. Go for the scramble there. Fortunately, no over the line throw penalty for Dubby in that situation. He's at the 21 yard line though. No harm, no foul. Four minutes to go. Slow, methodical game here, which is what you want because you don't want to get into a shootout with Hollywood after what you, were, you saw he was able to do with Kiv. So third and three from the 14. It's a 31-yard field goal from there. If Dubby can't convert here in short yardage. He said he settled for a field goal against Drini. Cousins. Nice find, the juice, Landry. Works you can to the see nine. by passing it there, he doesn't want to settle. He thought that was a mistake. In his Drini game, he got the stop on Drini's opening drive, but only cashed it in for three. Can you believe LSU had Landry and Odell Beckham? At 
the same time, at the plus same time. Zach Mettenberg, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's. So I can believe. There's it. the factor. So yeah. I can't believe. It. <laughs> Pushed out to the 12 now. Second and goal. Gets a bit more room to pass it in if he chooses to try. So, really, we've seen the most success come in the running game in the red zone here through the first couple days of the challenge. Definitely something to keep. Checks it down here. This Thompson makes a move. Puts him in the spin cycle. Touchdown, W. Nasty spin right there from Thompson. Little left trigger and then the B button for a precision spin. Fakes out the defender, stays in bounds. Goes in. Look at it four. again. Puts it down in the flats and then whoop. Two defenders, Scott. We talked about, what a play. you know, W, we were talking to W about Chris Thompson is his back. He said, I wish I had more power back. Somebody like Beast Mode that could really tote it. But he said, I'm going to try this elusiveness that Chris Thomas has. That's the move you want to go to. And Scott, we talked about the run game in the red zone, was kind of what we were talking about there. Helicopter. That check down worked as the run game, right? Throw to the flat, not very fancy. Well, you got to make a move. But boom. Throw it out there, make a guy miss, make two guys miss. Yeah, Thompson. Get in. Getting sticky with the spin move. And now Hollywood, trailing by seven, trying to work it on the ground with Kareem Hunt. He looks like Fournette. He looks big. Hunt, Hunt's looking big. He's hitting him with some. What a season he's had. Pam runs up the middle. Those first couple games. That's cool. First the. The big thing for Green Hunt was they were absolutely dominating at the beginning of the season. They've yeah. cooled off just a tad. Great. There's a nice throw out to the 41 in plus territory now for Hollywood. Yeah, that was great pocket presence for Hollywood. Stayed tough, didn't completely bail out. Stepped back a little bit because the pressure from Dudley has been good, especially up the middle, but was able to deliver the cut uh, ball right on the cut. And that's Anthony Barr in the middle. You don't want to run into him in a crowded little space right up the middle. Well, Anthony Barr, probably if he could tell anybody, hey, you can have any user linebacker, that's one of the guys. Shazier, Buchanan does a good job. Of course, Anthony Barr has made plays over the years. You know who I smuggle my way in with sometimes? Julius Peppers. Only got like 80 speed, but he's 6'7". He just... Lay, sometimes they'll just catch the ball. I've, I've heard you, I've heard this conspiracy theory out of you, you know, or and then I yell. Like that. Just go must feared Ray Lewis. Let's call it a day. Third and four. AJ. Oh, should have been a pick. AJ, my guy. Talking to Bouye. That is his guy. He's been playing against some NFL AJ, pros my like Charles guy. James. AJ. He needed Bouye to step up and make that pick. Because now it's a fourth and four. Boy, that would have turned the tides here. Maybe open the floodgates. Get that bum ass shit off my field. And now man. he's going to pick man. it off at the 13 yard line. That was Eli Apple. As good as a punt for Hollywood, fortunately, on fourth and four. Had to throw it. Eli Apple makes the first play of his entire season with and an interception. Proud. <laughs> and where to go, Eli Apple? for Dubby with the pick and now two minutes, 10 seconds to go, Scott. This drive is a championship drive for Dubby. Cousins. You must Boy, that was a tight window, 14-yard gain at the 27. You must get points. Two minutes to go. Hollywood will have to use his timeouts coming up. Dubby's got to control this thing. Defense is looking pretty good. But you cannot let what happened against Drini right before the half earlier today. You know, the younger players, we, we, we talked about it with, with Spato, you know. Um, you, you have the reaction times. The younger players have the reaction times. The older players have the experience, especially working the clock. Clock management's so big. There's Landry, absolutely wide open, 20-yard gain of the 47. Cousins is six for seven for 72 right now, and he's done it very well with Landry. He's really ta uh, attacking the outside of the field, the boundaries, which is difficult for new players to really focus on that outside area of the field. They're kind of the new players will kind of keep their eyes across the middle of the field and only really target, you know, 
the right in the middle where users tend to lurk. So it's very, very dangerous. If you're a new player, don't lock your eyes on the middle of the field consistently. You gotta use that vision to really look outside, look for outcutting routes, but just know that the user will continuously look for that. Right here. This is where most players keep their eyes, but the best players, boom. They're looking out there, they're looking out there. Must do that if you want to get better. Huge sack on first down. It's a committee meeting at a quarterback. He throws it once again into a tight window. And Cousins, I know Dubby hot, likes boys. a mobile, hot, mobile quarterback, but right now Cousins dotting him up the field. There's Thielen once again. And he threw that earlier, and it wasn't. Uh, we've seen two defenders converge on that. Hollywood threw it once. Dubby threw it there. Thielen hung on to the rock. Cousins. That's time again. Wide open, New Hopkins to the 29-yard line. See, we haven't seen a ton of New Hopkins yet in this game. That's his first catch. But that 13-yard pickup is big. Shows that he's willing to attack that middle late. And as Hollywood vacates the middle of that field, Dubby's attacking it. This is that championship-level drive we talked about. He's 8 for 9. He's got 100 yards. He's got a minute off the clock. Hollywood's only got one timeout. This is big. Thompson with some space. Now knocking on the red zone at the 20-yard line, and Hollywood will use his final timeout with 58 ticks to go in the half. Took his last timeout, second and one. I think if you're W, this is a guaranteed run. Just, I think. Back to Thompson. Mm. Your, time your, doesn't your, get anything. And you're frustrated that you didn't get that, but if you're Dubby and you're, you're doing that second level thing, you have to get the clock moving, and you just get such a great value from a run there as far as the entire game scenario situation goes that it's a must call. See what he does here, though, on third down. I think anything is open. 40 seconds to go in the half. Third and one. Cousins. That's easy. Pitch and catch out to Tom. Yeah, smart to play. And that's a first down. The flat was open to the left, but the user was in the general area, so he went back to the right side of the field. W attacks the flat as well as any Madden player out there. This area of the field, he's always constantly sending a halfback out there. He's constantly sending a tight end out there, and he's willing to take those short yards because you have to in this game. Got to attack that area of the field. So a second and three now. Dubby still has three timeouts. Sometimes you see guys get a little cute down here. I don't I don't understand why you don't take a timeout right here. He'll take it right after this play, depending on what happens. Cousins. The throw. Landry holds on at the four. Yeah. See, I mean, now you have one play, maybe two. One shot. So instead of getting three shots at the end zone, now you get two and you're going to kick the field goal. He gets, he'll get two in the field goal with this situation. Hollywood was happy that that play took some time. Uh, a run is still in the cards, though, for Dubby with the two timeouts. The whole playbook is his oyster right now. And Thompson will get in there, and so that'll shut me up. When you're that good, do you realize how difficult that is to go on a two-minute drive against Hollywood, get seven, he uses all his timeouts, and there's five seconds left. Ten plays, 74 yards, capped off by a Chris uh, Thompson run. It is... Looking like Chris Johnson. High-level man, and I know we go back to that, <laughs> but it's just... That's what you say. I just... I just think I'm smart, and then Dubby puts the it in there for another seven. The degree of difficulty in that drive, with the stage, with the 0-1-1 record, with, you know, a spot in the Ultimate League, Scott, on the line with the ability to potentially just get out of groups. You get the stop, you convert it, you're feeling good. Well, one second left in the half, Hollywood trailing by two touchdowns now, up under center, and you'll see him just hand it off. The hunt, he'll try to make a move. He goes nowhere, just a gain of six, and that's how the half will end. Dubby with a 14-0 lead over Hollywood in the game where they're both 0-1 in group B, Farles. And I tell you what, right now, Dubby seems to want it just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, 
great conversions, great consistency, great commitment to the run game. And really, the difference has been Chris Thompson at halfback. That selection for Dubby, the elusive nature of him with that spin move for the touchdown and then sticking to the ground game in a couple tough situations. Dubby's looking good with his draft. Yeah. Now, we know the shoes aren't looking good, but he's looking good on the field. Let's go to Dave and Rico. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, Rico. W looking to maybe start to reclaim some of that Madden Bowl form that he had from last year. Absolutely. And if you remember when Farles was up there talking, he took a couple shots a few days ago. He doesn't seem to remember that, but I'll remind him. W is who we thought he was. The seasoned goon grizzly has shown that he's able to perform on the big stage when it counts. He knew he could not go down 0-2 and try to still get out of this thing without having immense amounts of pressure. So what did he do? He came, he went up 14-0 in the first half, and looked for him to run the clock and put it away in the second. And we'll look to see if Dubby can execute in the second half, but right now it's time for another Madden tip with our guy Zach Farley. <laughs> What's up gamers? Z-Farrell's back again to teach you how to play like a pro in Madden 18. Today, Hollywood steps in to teach you how to have great command at the line of scrimmage. You can see he's got a pass play call, but he doesn't like it, so he presses X and then flicks down on the right stick to get to a run play, which is much better against this defensive front. He takes it all the way across for a first down. In this play, we'll show you a couple other adjustments you can make before the snap. You can see Hollywood has a pass play called here, but he doesn't like it. He's got Richardson on an in route, so instead he presses the Y button to hot route, B for Richardson, and then flicks the right stick to the left. That puts Richardson on a slant route across the middle. One other thing you can do is motion your receiver. Hold down B to get the blue icon underneath, send him to the left side of the field by holding the left stick, and boom, all of a sudden a play that wasn't gonna work gets wide open for a huge game. By mastering your pre-play adjustments, you too can compete in the Madden Championship Series. Thank you, Farles. Farles, you might need to talk to Hollywood right now and maybe get something going for him in the second half. <laughs> His adjustments in the second half is what uh, great Madden players do. I'm glad he shared that tip with us. And if you're at home watching, learn the buttons. Learn the buttons. There's a thing called Skills Trainer. It will teach you the buttons. You have to learn the buttons. You'll get so much better so fast, and you can be on your way. Well, thank you, Zach. And if once you've learned the buttons and you got that figured out and you're still looking to improve your game, you should head on over to youtube.com slash EA Sports to get tips and tricks from all the Madden pros. Now, for us, don't forget, we're going to be back tomorrow with the wild card games and the semifinal games from this Madden Challenge. And on Friday, we will be crowning our champion and handing out that Madden Championship belt to our Madden Challenge champion. But for right now, Adrian Lawrence is on the sidelines with Dubby. Debbie, things are going really well for you. 14 nothing. the first half. You have almost a 91% completion percentage. Talk to us about your offense. Offense is doing very well. You know, made a couple passes that were a little questionable, but I got away with them. Moved down the field fairly well. Was able to run the ball in twice. Chris Thompson made an outrageous move on a flat pass and got a seven instead of a three. I've always said sevens and threes are, are a big deal in Madden. And Chris Thompson made a play for me. That's why I drafted him. 91 juke and an elusiveness, and he made a play to get in the end zone for me. And he was able to run in there before the half, milked it all the way down to five seconds so he didn't get the ball back. So it's working out well for me, playing good defense. Just got to stick to it the second half. And this is a rubber match between you and Hollywood. What do you think is going to make it available to you to be able to take the win? I mean, this next drive, you know, I'm up 14 points. If I can go ahead and get any type of points here, that's a three-possession lead in the second half. And, you know, he wants to run the ball. So if he gets down three possessions in the second half, then he's going to go ahead and try to open it up more and leave himself vulnerable for interceptions or sacks or something. And it's playing more into my hands. So this drive coming out of half is huge. Hopefully I'd like to take some time. Even if I get three, I feel like that will secure the victory for me. And the final question, what happened to that Giants jersey that you had to wear? I mean, I, I think I wore it for, I think, 15 seconds, and I was itching really bad, and I had to take it off real quick. I gave it back to him, so he probably got it framed up or something nice like that. But I did not have it long. I wanted to burn it, but I couldn't because he actually beat me, and I tipped my hat to him. He's a great competitor, and I love you know, competing with him on this stage. Good luck in the second half. To the casters. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> We can't let that story die. I would throw at, at shade. Point, I do a Super Bowl joke, but the Giants are just <laughs> riding the struggle bus right now, and I don't. They're have not a lot terrible. To say. They're not bad. They're terrible. Eagles bad. fans don't deserve the Wentz injury. They deserve at least yeah. a chance to lose in another championship game. So, unfortunately, for the Eagles fans, we'll see if Dubby can at least bring yeah. you a championship. Well, he tells people, "Don't worry, 
Philadelphia does have a champion. It's Dubby. He's had a belt before. He's looking for his second belt here in the second half. Hollywood's got some work to do, though, trailing by two touchdowns. What did you yeah. see in that first half that he can do differently in the second half to get back in it? He's got to slow down Dubby's passing attack. It's the number one attack in this tournament, passing the rock-wise. But he's on, Dubby's only seventh in the run game, and Hollywood didn't stop his ground game quite enough. We're used to seeing more explosive passing plays from Hollywood. He's kind of coming out in this under center scheme. It's not working so well against Dubby's crossfire blitz, which is pretty aggressive and comes up the middle. Let's see if he can really open it up because if he gets the stop, he's still got to score twice. And I don't know if with single back, it's going to be able to get it done. First and 10 at the 28. Dubby with the ball to start the second half. It was absolutely nowhere. Loss of a yard. Yeah, and Thompson, I mean, he's not having a banner day, Scott. Nine for 28, but he had the one rush in the red zone, and then he had the one move on the pass catch. So it's keeping him honest. Nice find there out at the 40-yard line. First and 10 now for Dubby. He did say he got a lucky on a couple passes. That might be another one in the, <laughs> you know, lucky-ish column. Look at know. the balance here. 10 passes, 10 rushes for Dubby. 10 for 10. Holding up the 10s. The judges are holding up 10s. Goes back to Thompson, and Hollywood stuffs it once again. He's eating up the run game with this crossfire defense. Inside's not there. Outside's not there. You've now got Dubby in a second and 11. Can you find the way to get another sack? Get him in a third and long. He'll, he'll want to have to consider punting the rock if he's in a deep situation because he's got a two-score lead already. You don't want to give Hollywood a short field when he hasn't shown he can score in this game so far. Quick hike, not many adjustments out of Dubby there. This Quick. is where you got to be careful. You got to play to win. I know you got the lead. I know you want to work the clock. But I think it's going to take more than 14 to beat Hollywood. It's what I like about a kid. It's what I like about a spot me please last year. They're pass heavy players. Dubby with the number one attack is a pass heavy player, but he's running the ball. Do what you do best. Packers playbook just has a few good runs. It's not a solid running playbook, but there is Jackson at the 34 yard line. Dubby converts again on third down. It's 12 for 13, and every time we look, he pulls a new receiver out of it. This is Deshaun Jackson, his first catch of the game. So he's got Jackson, Hopkins, Thielen, Landry. He's loaded up at receiver. And when you have the attack, he has four receivers. Thompson has the halfback out of the backfield. That set he's in, that gun tight, is tremendous for that. Look at Thielen over here on the left, uncovered. We'll see if he goes for the run, though. It didn't have a great defensive draft. Ended up having to take a bunch of offensive superstars once again he tries to go to the run and gets stuffed passings on point though 11 out of 12 that's pretty darn good it's gonna make life easy for you and they've been nice 10 15 yard passes he's not settling for the short stuff too much had that one pass in the flats to thompson that led to his first score on a six spin move Cousins steps up. Landry. It's going to make it third and medium. At More 30. importantly, though, Scott, it gets him to the edge of glory, a.k.a. field goal range. That three, makes a three score, score lead. Game, yeah. And he's already chewed two and a half minutes off the clock. He's playing smart. This is veteran stuff inside of the play call menu. How he's managing the game. It's really what separates him from some of the younger guys out there. So third and six now from the 30. It's very subtle stuff, you know, just committing to it, trying to always make the best decision in a game. So third and six, play clock running down. Cousins once again tries to go to Thompson and loses three. Now it's a 50-yarder. I like the call because he ran a run where it's like, wow, I'm not going to lose yards. And now he's got a very difficult field goal. Can he get it? This is money. If it doesn't get blocked, this is money. Right down the middle. Right down Burbank. Right down Broadway. That's the difference. Getting down in the field goal range, making it three scores, using up the clock, 
when you're in field goal range on third down, running the ball. And that was so the that thing you is don't lose yards. Hollywood just couldn't get him out of, you know, off the field on third down. Yeah. Stone kicked him. Yeah. He's got to take this out of the end zone. Ooh. And Landry, Ooh. it's knocked out of bounds at the 11. And when it rains, it pours. Sometimes for Hollywood. Madden's easy. Sometimes Madden's hard. Sometimes you're 89 yards from a score to get you back within two scores against a former champ when you're already 0-1 at the Madden Challenge. But that's why you're Hollywood. This is your time. W had his big boy drive before the half. Hollywood has got to put one on here. Got to be careful not to take a sack in the end zone and a mark that at the one yard line. It's going to be second and 21. And he had, you know, aggressive rush on there. You might have needed a fake snap. It. Screaming. Did I say 89 Nothing yards? The same, I meant 99 yards because he's now on his own one yard line. Has to find a way to pick this pressure up the middle. I come out here and I fake. I got to fake hike this. Can't get any shorter. Swings it to the outside. Hunt's going to have to make a move. And that's why you get three defenders out there, Scott, because the first one missed, but the other guy mopped it right up, held him to a short gain, and now it's a third and 14 on his own side of the field. He's going to go with a hurry. Four, up. This is four down territory. Saw something he liked out of that W defense. Decided to hit the hurry up. Third and 14 from the eight. He's got that comeback right on the left. And it's going to be a sack and a fumble. Ah! And, and now, recovered at the one yard line, fourth and 20. So he went to play action there to see if he could pick up the pressure. Watch this fake. Normally, play action will give you a little bit better ah, on the blitz. Ah! He hasn't picked it up without play action, so he said, you know what, let me try play action and see if it works any better. It worked worse. Unfortunately, it's just not the time you want to find that out. It's backed up in your own end zone. And now on fourth and 20 from your own one, you have to go for it. I don't mind it from the 10, but from the one, it's very difficult. So you could cash this in for a score. If you hold them to a field goal, though, then it's still within three scores. Well, another reason you don't want to get flooded here is point differential here in the group stage. It's down 17, and on fourth and 20, hits it out at the 26, 25 yard gain. That is a dot. Great in route, smart route. RB on your hot route buttons, smart route that route, make it run to the first down marker. Great play from Hollywood. You know, and Dubby has even said himself, it's easier to get a fourth and 20 than a fourth and two sometimes. Sometimes it feels that way. Second I'd like and 20, to see the, I'd the like 15. to see the statistics <laughs> yeah. on that, but it, I would agree that it feels that way because your, your zone defenders don't always play back to the sticks. Second and 20. At the 15-yard line after another sack. Golf has time, and it's picked yeah. off, and this time AJ it is A.J. Bouye who dropped it earlier. Say that 10 times fast. A.J. Bouye. A.J. Bouye. A.J. Bouye. <laughs> With That's the, the best pay. corner in the league. Best corner in the league. You can hear Dubby saying he's the best corner in the league. What a play. 17 nothing, fourth quarter, pounding the rock. And Dubby, after a disappointing opening batch, is now going to have to run this thing out and find a way to take on Young Kiv, potentially looking at the number one seed almost in the group, even after a first loss. A little math involved there, but. Maybe two and one, two and one. It's one and two, I'm sure. Second and three. Second takeaway today by that W defense. It was Eli Apple first time. This time this one might come back to hurt as he's at the 29 yard line. It's been tough sledding in the running game for W. Yeah, but with those 15 carries, that's 30 seconds every carry. <laughs> carry the you one. Know? Even with just those 30 yards, you're keeping your opponent honest. It's making your offense very balanced. And when you're getting as many chunk plays as he's getting in the passing game, you can afford to run for no game. 16 carries, 14 passes. Third and three. 
Cousins. Has time. Off its back foot throws a bullet. This is going to depend on the spot. Yeah. It's fourth and one. Yeah, he had the X route coming underneath. Threw it a little bit late, more so because his quarterback was on his back foot, so he didn't quite get the ball out fast enough. And then he possession caught it to be safe and not take the hit rather than rack it up field. Leads to a fourth and one. Let's the clock run all the way down. Going to kick a field goal, goal, go up potentially 20 to nothing. But this might be one where W goes for. He's already up three scores. What you does get the it, one what yard, this one might get be it. You? Yeah, you get another two minutes off the clock. He's actually going to take the uh, delay a game. Now he's got to kick it, right? Unless Hollywood goes power move, declines it. <laughs> Wants him to go for it. Has one yard defense. Now that's next level. That's mental pretzel stuff. It's a 48-yarder. Let it tick down to three. This will put Dubby up 20. Scott, remember back on Monday, Spoto just stuffing everybody's kids. Yeah. He's going to be playing tomorrow. Hollywood not having that luck. That's a momentum turner where you would need, need a big play like that to get back in this one. Down 20. And I, I keep bringing up point differential. You, you play to win the game, but you also play not to get beat by 20 especially in the group stage. Cooks out of his own end zone. Let's go, boys. Trini's going to be in a pretty nothing tough easy, situation easy because Kip's got easy. two wins. Nothing easy. Dubby will have a win. He's going to play Kip. Okay, okay, okay. If he was to win, that'd be two wins. We Hollywood beats Trini. You got okay, 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 one win. Okay. One win. Where is it? So the points man. are going to be intense. They're playing each other head to head. This is intense. First and ten. And they're finally with the fake snap. And gets the aggressive line of W to jump off sides. Hey, if you can get five free yards, you're going to take that every single time. It's got the best route if you're at home and you're not aware of what the best route is in Madden. It's the post. The post route is... Maybe it's the drag, though. Scott, are you a post guy or a drag guy? I like to throw the deep post. Because here's what's good about the drag. Is you can hot route the drag anytime you want it. Beats man. I mean, the post beats man, though, too. But The drag, you know, obviously is quicker to develop. Very like consistent. That. You can rack it up the field. You get nine yards of whack. That's what makes the drag so good. That's what makes Kiv so good. And then when it's time to run the post, you can go deep. As Vernon Davis works his way inside the red zone. We haven't had a shutout yet. We, you know, third day of the Madden Challenge. Someone has yet to be blinked. That's true, huh? And you can't kick a field goal here. You got to go. No, you got to keep going for it. Correct. And you got to do it fast. Boom, 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 Goff's 10 to 14, Scott, but he, with the two picks. Those were those were rough. The, the one on fourth down where he got sacked out of field goal range, that hurt him. Second and three. And Throws no. it into the end zone and Clay holds on. And Hollywood finally gets on the board. Scott Cole, the human jinx machine, jinxes the shutout. <laughs> that's a like jinx, that was a jinx in a good way. Scott, you know what else hasn't happened? By the way, on ESPN, I make everyone miss free throws. Yeah. In college basketball. I'm like, oh, he's nine for nine, Clank. That happens all the time. And there is Hunt on a two-point conversion. Now it's a 12-point game. And what we haven't seen at the Classic is an onside kick be recovered either, Scott. Haven't seen it all week. We haven't Madden seen I mean, an onside Madden kick. We haven't seen it the entire week. Hollywood just, like, you know, in Little League when they do the soft grounders to the shortstop, you know what I mean? That was right to the shortstop. You're going to want to... Get that kick to go a little bit more down the line. That that first guy there is pretty consistent at uh, scooping it up. So first and ten now for Dubby. 224 left. Still have a another set of games. And we'll get to the single elimination tomorrow. 
Single elimination is tough, Scott. There's a lot of chatter in the community. Sometimes they say, we want double elimination, we want triple elimination. No, it's single elimination. What if we make it best of 11? I would be the <laughs> champ. I would be the champ if it was best of 11. Sometimes guys will get into that. It's got to be single elimination, right? Survive in advance. I think that's the only way to do it. Second and eight, Thompson. Who would you say besides tick, 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 tick. in Group A for the guys that are just tuning in now and they're, yep. they're watching Group B on this Wednesday? Who impressed you the first two days out of Group A? It's it's Prodigy and Joel. I mean, they were on a whole different level than everyone else in A. Yeah. Which one of those guys you think makes it further? I don't know. I think I think Joel is the guy. You know, even though he went two and one, lost to Prodigy. I don't know. It's it, those are two separate guys. A guy that likes to cap, and you have a guy that doesn't say very much. Let's his game oh, do the Joel, talk. Joel is one of the most electric yeah. people I've ever met. <laughs> his personality, his excitement. It's exciting that he's 18 and has a big future in Madden. It's great to have him as a part of the community. Second and nine. I, I'll tell you one thing. Nobody wants to face either of those guys Jeez. at a Group A. Of course, Spano will have a chance to. Uh, the tough thing for Prodigy is going to be, you know, do players now kind of pick up on what you're doing a little bit more? Yeah, you're kind of to. a man of mystery coming yep. into the event. You're in Vegas, but other than that, not a lot of tape on you. Can they now maybe adapt slightly better? I mean, it's still very good, but. Yeah, had a couple of days to look no at it and think about battle. it. Third and ten. Of course, single eliminations. Oh, an entirely different ball game. Spin cycle, Scott. 20 carries for 49 yards, Scott. but it's been effective. Pop quiz, what's 23 minus 8? 23 minus 8, 15. Good man. <laughs> take, got to take the field goal, right? Yeah, you kick the field goal here. If there's ever a chance for a kick to get blocked. We haven't Ooh. seen a kick block today, Scott. Well, if you get the first down, the game's over. That's the only way you look at it. You say, do you want to you know, kick the field goal, try to get a stop? I mean, it's a 12-point game. I like that watch. I wonder if it's water resistant. I'm sure or that's helping him right now. I'm sure he's feeling good about that, that you like his watch. He's only scored eight points tonight. I like the evolution of his clothing, his hairstyle. Yeah, it went from the bun, now he's got the dreads. Yeah. Well, the only thing he's got right now is 15 point deficit that he's going to have to face with 114 to go. And he need a quick score and then an onside kick again. Stranger things have happened. We've seen some wild games. We've done a lot of games. I've blown a lot of games <laughs> like crazy. this myself. This is so. the biggest drive of the tournament. The biggest Take it drive out. It's of the tournament five. Right you know, here. Cooks has got speed. Past the 20. Looking for the sideline. The biggest drive of the tournament. Now, Dubby's saying this is the biggest drive of the tournament. That could be for point differential, perhaps. Think about this. Dubby in his first game lost by 10. Now he's got a 15-point lead over Hollywood, so that puts him at plus five, carry the two. Still got to win, still got to do all that jazz, but crucial. I let the guys in the back handle the mathematics. Yeah, usually they send an adult out here like, <laughs> yes. with two minutes left to go in the next game to tell us the deal. We just say thanks, Dad. <laughs> and we move on. First and 10 at the 35. Throws it deep past Joe SWAT Hayden. Team. But a nice user SWAT from Dubby. That could have been it. That could have been the play. The speed differential was there. He put his burner in the slot. A huge potential play. Notice how he's Dubby. backing those safeties oh, yeah. up now. He just got there. I think if anything's going to hurt Dubby moving forward is that defense. There's just not a lot of speed out there. You, you do have A.J. Bouye, who's... Yeah, you got your got couple, the speed and the zone. You got your you got your uh, your Bouye. You've got a couple guys that will break on the ball for you. But you also got some guys that get absolutely toasted. Abs yeah, yeah. There's a lack of depth that you generally don't see across the board. But I mean, he's loaded at receiver, so he can put up some points. That's the question. He had a slow start against Drini. Not to mention, he's got Anthony Barr in the middle. Which is a pretty nice insurance policy. If you got to get in that deep blue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see how he continues to adapt his formation with these guys on the outside. With uh, the way that they're pressing on the outside there. That's really to me. Oh, scream machine. 
because the, the pressure up the middle is phenomenal. There's that aggressive pass rush again. I mean, it's it's there. I, I would be fake hiking every time to the line. Nobody filled me in on this crossfire setup. Coming from the other side this time, able to get away from it. Here comes Hunt at the 40. <laughs> Tries to make a man miss, and a, that was a, a grown man stiff arm at the 30-yard line. And now Dubby's upset because he's now in field goal range. That's going to make it 23 to 11. We'll see if he takes the points. I mean, he's got to keep going for the score, but he's, he's got to do the back in the head. timeouts. I mean, we were talking earlier, Kiv had an opportunity to kick a field goal, even though he had a lead. Team. Doesn't have a timeout. I think you got to rush. Taken. You got to rush the field goal team out there. So that was pretty crucial. Still a lot of Madden left to be played here, Scott, on this Wednesday night. But Group B, very tight with the level of talent, and all of these points will be a factor. 23-11. So the differential is 12, but it's a W for W. 23 to 11, sure, and all bro. Hollywood okay. can do is God damn, I'm playing. Shake that. his head and then shake Dubby's hand. Big time win by the man from Philadelphia, the oldest competitor in the field. And which of your Needed shirts uh, is your favorite? He's got about 7,000 <laughs> different versions of the Needed shirt, which you can go get. I like the Kelly on Green. Come on, you're from Philly. You put the Kelly Green on. Dot com. You go select it. But uh, you like the Kelly Green? Kelly Green. You're a Philly fan, you got to rock it. But I, I do like the patriotism in this one. I, I also like the way he bounced back. Uh, you know, he had a rough one against Drini. He fought back in the second half. And this one, he just had control the entire way. I mean, he almost actually stole that game from Drini. If you were, yeah. There was one point where Drini threw his only real bad read of the yeah. day. And Dubby almost got it. But that at least got him the momentum back. And in this one, he had just control of that game. That's what you've seen from him. Really impressive victory against such a good player. To make it look like that level of control against a player like Hollywood just shows the championship mentality of a guy like Dubby. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team, Adrian, with the winner. Dubby, you got the win. How do you feel? I feel good. I mean, I gave up too many points too easily at the end there. That's a big deal in our current situation, how many points are you, know, you win and lose by. So I was disappointed with my defense there. Once I got a big lead, played a little bit too easy, gave him too many easy plays, and, you know, I'm disappointed in that. Obviously, the game, I felt, like I said before, at the halftime, if I got three on this earth drive, the game would be over. That's the way I felt. I got that three, and then the game was over. So after that, but I allowed him to score too many points in garbage time, and that's something I got to do better of. Calculate the point difference was a big deal, and hopefully it doesn't come out to bite me, but, but I'm glad I got the win. I needed that win. If I lost that game, I was going home. I knew that. There was no way to lose that game in advance. So but when that being, winning that game was a big deal. I always like to beat Holly, too. And you're 1-1 one one now, and you're going to go on and play Kiv, who is undefeated. How are you going to prepare for that? Oh, well, I'm just going to watch what Skimbo did to him and boxed him online. I'm just going to do the same thing. And hopefully I catch my interceptions, you know. Hopefully I catch my interceptions, and then I'll go walk out of there with, with a W. So, no, but in all seriousness, Kiv is one of the, the best competitors man seen the last three years. He's somebody that we all look up to offensively, still bits and pieces from his game. So, and it's the first time I've got to play him. Is He's probably the only top competitive player in the whole circuit that I've never played. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great game. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dirico, Dave. Thank you, 